Hello friends, Idaho Garden Girl here. It is the 27th of November and I'm just out here in the garden looking around. It's kind of a sunny day. We've had days in the 30s and 40s degrees Fahrenheit and also down into the low 20s and teens at night. So it's been it's been really cold. So I just wanted to look around the garden and I'm making a pot of soup, so I'm also going to dig some carrots. Cabbages seem to be doing okay. Um, that one still has frost on it, so I'm not going to touch it. Um, they're still pretty solid. This is greyhound cabbage, and um, you know, it makes a nice small head. Um, I'll probably pick that in the next couple of days. Here's the broccoli. Broccoli has done well. It's it's time for me to pick. More broccoli. Uh, here's the kohlrabi. I've eaten a couple of those. And I thought at first that these would be too big. But um, I had two of them the other day. The variety is Blower Speck. And um, you can see I sowed them on May 4th. And then I didn't get them in the ground until, I don't know, August. Something like that. But they're still good. They're still good. More kohlrabi. And then here's kale. Kale looks awesome. I'm probably going to pick some of that later. This is a different kind of kale. I think I have the tag here somewhere. This one is Sutherland. This white one. And then this one over here is, I forget the name of it. No, there's a tag. Oh, here we go. Willem Blau. So I planted these these two varieties because they were known for um, being so winter hardy. Um, so I wanted to try those. As you can see, all the other stuff is kind of gone by. Um, there's a few onions over there. Whoops, over there. Can't see where I'm pointing. And they're still charred. See, there's good leaves of chard here, even though it really got hit by the frost. Way down deep in the bed, there's good leaves of chard. There's those onions. The peas got hammered. This was another crop of peas over here, snap peas that got hammered. And then I have parsley and all these little, I also planted carrots and they're, they're coming up. I don't know, you know, if they make it through the winter, then maybe I'll get some carrots in the spring. Right now they're too tiny. And then all this other stuff right here, this is all uh, uh, parsley seedlings. Uh, I used to have a parsley, a large parsley plant right here that grew up and went to seed and spread seeds all over. And I've thinned this stuff out twice. I was, I was trying to thin it so that it would, you know, there would be a plant every like eight or ten inches. And um, I did pretty good for a while and then I got to focusing on the tomatoes. So um, right now I'm going to go over here to this bed. The 
this is my carrots and this is parsnips so I'm gonna harvest a few carrots and maybe even some parsnips so I started pulling the carrots and the first one I pulled was split which was a disappointment and then I was so I was scared but the next one was good it's a nice nice size carrot next one next one these two were planted close together I tried to get this one right here but the ground is frozen right there so I'm gonna have to use a shovel this one I think I might be able to get this one if I wiggle it there Here's a few that I didn't get thinned. That's decent. I usually take my finger and go down around the carrot like that so I can see the situation. And then I wiggle it and pull it out. Nice. Oh, this one's big. You can see how big that one is. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, nice. I think that's the biggest one so far. Feel like the soil up oh, see that one was frozen that one was frozen right there I'm gonna have to dig that one out and I'm gonna have to dig that one out so I'm gonna get a shovel for that okay There we go. Not too bad. Actually, I thought maybe I could just use this trowel rather than going and getting the shovel. Let's see if it works on this one. Oh, you can't see it, can you? There. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, I think that's I think that's all I'm going to get for today. at least for carrots. There we go, look at all those carrots. I'm pretty happy with that. So here are the carrots all washed up. And I'm really happy with those, they are nice. Really nice. There's a little tiny one. But really nice. Really happy with that. Now here's the one that was split. And if anybody knows what actually causes that, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I did read a, or I did watch one person's YouTube video where they said that they thought it was uh, excess w water. And I'm not sure about that. Um, all of these were grown right next to each other, and uh, this was the first one that I pulled out, and I was like, oh no! So I held my breath, but then I pulled the rest of these, and they look fine. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to um, subscribe, you can click on the button. I think it's down here in this corner, maybe, or this corner. There's a subscribe button and a little bell. You can click on the subscribe button. And then if you click on the bell, you'll be notified every time I post a new um, video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. 
goodbye from Idaho on the 27th of November. Bye now.